up you guys? It is Wednesday here on GBC and you know what that means. <laughs> editing, editing. Where I am editing again. Look at that. See you guys like that. I know. I mean, I, I missed the editing too, but you know, I went all out for you guys. I am, you know, all nice and looking good. You know, the face is on, the hair is a new style and stuff. Hopefully you guys will like my new hair. I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> this week, I got a request to do something that I'm pretty sure everyone has been through. Bad managers. And how to leave your job with the current bad manager you have. So I have been through this very recently. I had a very bad manager. And it was probably the worst manager you can ever have in a salon or spa environment, which is supposed to be relaxing and friendly. Like me! Even though I'm not so relaxed. Well, I'm relaxing when I need to be. He did things like he throw BFs in front of clients. He throw things in front of clients. He curse and yell. And he... Just, I mean, mm, mm -mm. So one day he yelled at me to get my attention to serve a lady, which I wasn't paying attention. It was my fault for not paying attention because, you know, we have very slow days. You know, um, as I said, I barely didn't work there. You know, I would sit there probably a whole entire week and I get nobody, you know, to do nails on or facials or whatever. Um, he yelled and slammed the table in front of me to get my attention. First off, that's where he went wrong. You don't yell at me. Let me mind you, I am from Miami. Dirty South, bitch. So, instead of coming up to me saying, excuse me, Carla, there's somebody up there, you know, um, she wants to buy a shirt. Instead, he yells at me. Okay. And, of course, the bad behavior kept going on while I was with the lady serving her. While I attended my client, or the lady who wanted to buy the shirt, you know, after she was done, she was completely embarrassed for me. She said, I'm sorry for your bad manager, blah, 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 and this and that. So, after she literally walked out the salon, I went to the back, got my stuff, and I was packing. Bye. He said, why are you leaving? I'm like, um, maybe because of your bad attitude. And ladies <clears throat> and gentlemen, let's just say my Cuban and my ratchet side came out at the same time. And I went in on him. So I told him I had already wrote my resignation letter um, and it will be there the next day. And it was not a nice resignation letter to the owner and manager. So the next day I pinned up my resignation letter and uh, if you guys want to read it, it's on my Instagram. You probably have to go deep in my Instagram because I take a lot of selfies. I left and gave him the biggest F you alive. Anyway, I was getting paid minimum wage, so the things he put me through, I'm, I was very grateful for what I got paid for. But the things the man put me through, I was like, no. So after I closed that door, a greater golden gate of amazingness opened. And uh, I found a better job, okay? And ladies and gentlemen, if you have a bad manager, leave that job and find a better one. Send your, resu send your resume everywhere. I got my job on Craigslist. So, and I work at a super high-end spa. Excuse me, super professional. I got the best managers in the world, two of them. I'm getting paid a lot, a lot more than what I had at the cute little airport. So if you have a bad manager, leave in the most professional way possible. I suggest you leave in the most, I repeat, the most professional way possible, please leave, okay? Do not be legendary at all, okay? So, um, that is my time for today on GPC. Make sure you guys comment, like, and hit that subscribe button. Um... Forgot my line because I didn't write it on the script. Yeah, subscribe.